Okay, this is example three in a differential equations topic. We are looking at first order differential equations. Hopefully you've followed me through examples one and two. We're looking at the separating variables or variable separable method. Uh, so in this equation here, example three, find the general solution of this uh, differential equation. We've got a product of terms. One is a function of x and one is a function of of y, so we want to take separate them one to each side. Uh, the one plus y square is multiplying there, so I can introduce a fraction one over. I'll just move the y squared plus one dy equals four x dx. So we are as we separate the x and y functions, we also separate the dy and the dx uh, one on each side. So once you've got that correctly done, we can introduce our integral sign to both sides. We want to integrate both of these sides. And the main issue with solving these first order differential equations is usually the actual integration of the individual parts. Quite often there's a fraction uh, involved and you have to be quite a, up on your different integration techniques. So for instance, here on the left hand side, we're trying to uh, diagnose the integral of um, 1 over y squared plus 1. That's a, a product, it's, it's, a, it's a sum of squared terms. So that to me is going to be, the integral of that function is going to be inverse tan because 1 over um, inverse tan. So we've got um, 1 over x squared plus a squared is going to be 1 over a times the inverse tan of x over a. So it's about being able to identify these things. So that's going to give us, it's just a is 1 in this case. So we've got the inverse tan of y on the left hand side equals, and we've got 4 times x squared over 2 plus c as our right hand side. So simplifying that on the right hand side, we've got 2x squared plus c, and we want just y on its own, so we effectively take the tan of both sides, and in this case, a constant must stay with the 2x squared. We can't leave that as a, a, an adding constant at the end, so it becomes the tan of 2x squared plus c. That's our general solution, and if we had any more information, we could find a particular solution. But what we do need to work on are all our different integration uh, techniques like we just did there with the inverse tan. Okay? Keep tuning in for examples four and five. We're still working on the variable separable method uh, and a few more examples, including some particular solutions.